Hello, my name is Mark Smith and welcome to another blog by Surf and Circuits. In front of me is a specially modified espresso maker that turns on and heats up 30 minutes before you need a shot, anytime you need it. No longer do you need to remember to turn on the machine in the morning or before you need to take an espresso, it just knows. On the other hand, it also turns off when you don't need a shot and detects when you're on a trip so you can save power and save your machine from excess use. The machine also has an upgraded temperature sensor that controls the boiler to within one degree. There's a shot timer that records your dispensed shots, a water sensor that both mo monitors the tank level and duplicates as a volumetric sensor for your espresso shots. In the front is a linear Nixie tube that acts as an intuitive display for the machine status, the water tank level, the temperature status, and the shot volume. It also has a web application called Espresso Connect that controls and monitors the machine from any browser and gives you detailed information on what the machine is doing and when it's going to do it. And in my mind, one of the coolest features is that it also has an auto shot mode that will not allow you to take a shot until it's at the right temperature and dispenses that shot automatically. You can literally push the Espresso button walk away and, and it will automatically pull that shot at the right temperature and dispense it and stop it giving when you come back you have a perfect espresso and it's all controlled by the raspberry pi zero that is housed in a 3d printed case neatly mounted inside the machine sit back for the rest of the blog as we dig into the details of how this espresso maker ticks Hello, I'm back again, and what better way to demonstrate the machine's functional capability than by pulling an espresso shot and steaming some milk. The portafilter is filled and ready with coffee grinds, and the web application is letting us know the espresso maker is in standby. The Raspberry Pi, which controls everything, has a machine learning algorithm that determines when the espresso maker will turn on. And as I so highly mentioned before, ideally this is done 30 minutes before you need one. I wish it was perfect, but it's not. However, it self-grades itself and it's correct about 75% of the time. The exact amount is actually graded and displayed in the schedule tab on the web application. In those cases that it's not, the auto shot mode ensures the temperature is at the right level before the pump is on. So let's get started. Now that we know the machine is in standby mode because of the web application, we can look at the Nixie tube and it also display tells us that we're in standby mode. Normally, in active mode, the Nixie tube would be displaying the water level. Since it's off, we're in standby. In either case, by putting our portafilter in place and pressing the espresso button, the auto shot mode does all the work. And when I do this, in just a second, let's look at both the Nixie tube display and the web application to understand the play-by-play. -play. When I turn on the espresso button, you can see right away that the Nixie tube will flash five times, indicating we're not at the right temperature. This level, which is 10%, represents the current temperature of the boiler. When this reaches to 100%, that represents the temperature that we need to be at to to pull an espresso shot and it will automatically do it at that point. Now up on the website you can also see that the status says it's too cool and the, it gives you the current temperature in the graph and it also tells us that we're going to be able to pull a shot in just a few seconds. You can actually see over here on the Nixie tube that the display is rising, also giving an indication of how long it is. When it reaches the top here, this then, and starts to pull an espresso shot, this then turns into a volumetric sensor that represents the amount of espresso that goes into our cup. Let's watch this happen now. Okay, great, so our espresso is done. And if you look on our website, it tells us that our shot was completed in 12 seconds. One of, not great, but you can see I've done in previous ones, I was doing okay. At this time, let's go ahead and turn off the espresso and go ahead and turn on the steam button. 
once again, the Nixie tube is going to display five times, flash five times, and it currently drops to 10%, telling us that's the current temperature of the boiler. The top represents the steam temperature. And when it's reached to the steam temperature and it's ready, it will flash once a second, once again indicating that the steam is ready and giving us an intuitive display to use that we don't need to use the web app. If you go to the web application, it tells us all the details we want, tells us the current um, status that the steam is warming up and it will be ready in 40 five or 40 seconds. I'll be right back to show how this was all put together inside the machine. But before that, I'm just about at the right temperature to steam some milk and work on my latte skills. Let's see how it goes. I've taken the top and back off the machine. The Raspberry Pi, Nixie Tube driver hat, two solid state switches, thermal couple sensor IC, and Nixie Tube power supply are housed in the 3D printed case. The water sensor, PCB is mounted on the outside of the water tank and there's a float along a track that is sliding up and down the inside of the water tank. The Nixie Tube and holder are hanging off the front of the espresso maker. The thermal couple is mounted right underneath the originally connected thermostats for the espresso maker. And all the wires and connections to the machine come from the 3D case. You may notice that none of the mods permanently modify the machine, allowing you, if you wanted to, to return the machine to its original state. The Raspberry Pi reads the, all the sensors and controls directly. The water sensor is a microchip LX3302A inductive position sensor IC that communicates its output using the digital scent protocol directly into the Raspberry Pi. This scent protocol was the subject of a previous Circuit and Circuits blog. The thermocouple is read by the microchip MCP9600 temperature sensing IC that communicates to the Raspberry Pi with the I squared C protocol. The Nixie tube hat and power supply drive the Nixie display from the Raspberry Pi's PWM outputs. This is also the subject of a previous blog. The web application is a full stack application. All the control code is written in Python. The web server is also in Python and using the Flask framework. And the web page code uses WebSockets and JavaScript. And it's all hosted by that Raspberry Pi Zero. I hope you enjoyed this espresso maker that knows when you need an espresso and is ready to go. Please give feedback and questions in the blog and on channel below. This is an open hardware and open software project and all the design files are also in the blog below. But this is just the start of a series. Please let me know what you want to hear more about. Should I explain the water sensor more in detail? Should I talk about the solid state switch design or the thermocouple IC or maybe the web application? In any case, thanks for watching this blog from Surface Circuits and have a great day.